Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ahmed Medyub. I'm part of the product management team for Estera Labs CXL Smart Memory Controllers. And today I'm going to be presenting Breaking Through the Memory Wall with CXL. Um, I will cover, first of all, um, the problem statement, that's the memory wall, and how us uh, here at Sarah are breaking through it with CXL. Uh, then I'm going to discuss a few memory-bound use cases, uh, and then dive into this uh, new modular shared infrastructure that is now popular for CXL, and then uh, discuss some current ongoing efforts in ecosystem enablements and uh, finish the presentation with some calls to action. So to quickly go over the problem statement, looking at the diagram on the bottom left part of the slide, we see that over the last 20 years, there is a significant improvement in compute performance growth by a rate of about 3x every two years compared to the memory performance rate um, at about 1.6x one, uh, 1. every two years. This limited scalability in memory performance is what defines the memory wall. There's also a significant memory latency delta between tiers of memory. Uh, the industry has been challenged with this problem for years now when trying to chip at this uh, using proprietary system configurations and deployment, for example, uh, persistent memory. Um, applications and SLAs built around memory performance face uh, complexity in the software stack integration when trying to scale. So um, we at uh, Astera Labs are helping to directly address this problem with Compute Express Link or CXL. CXL is a high speed, high capacity uh, for, uh, you know, protocol for CPU to device or, mem uh, or CPU to memory connections designed for high performance data center computers. And it is built on top of the PCIe physical and electrical interface. And it includes a PCIe based block IO uh, input and output protocol, uh, CXL.io and new cache coherent protocols for accessing, accessing system memory. CXL.cache and uh, device memory CXL.mem. So um, the diagram on the bottom right of the slide is showing a 12 channel architecture with eight local DIMMs uh, and four CXL expanded DIMMs via two Leo memory controllers or control, control chips in our Aurora by 16 adding card running at 5600 DR5 speed. Increasing thus the capacity of the system by 50% uh, and under load reducing the overall latency by 25%. Um, using standard DIMMs allows uh, hyperscalers to have a flexible supply chain and take control of their cost structure. Um, we also are able to seamlessly expand memory for existing and new applications by working closely with ecosystem partners and a good example of that is with our hardware interleaving feature we enable with Intel's fifth generation Xeon processor. Under interleaving mode is a setting where all the memory in the system is grouped in one single NUMA node. So uh, some of the use cases where we see a significant impact of CXL expansion as a mean to uh, break this wall fall into two primary camps. Standard SQL databases on the left and new applications flew, fueled by uh, the momentum around Gen AI on the right. For the SQL databases, we are able to show how CXL can boost time to insight significantly in what's happening now and what has happened computations. And there are industry benchmarks that I'll be walking through in the next slide that show that. And on the right hand side, we're showing a vector database that is caching relevant images. So Gen AI can have a hybrid approach to provide semantic cache to uh, supplement data models. So on uh, online transaction processing and online analytics processing, uh, looking at the OLTP SQL database acceleration case here on the left, we're able to improve the transactions per second by 150% uh, and CPI, uh, CPU utilization by about 15%. Um, on the bottom left is the configuration we tested. Uh, in gray, uh, 
there's 128 gigabytes of local DRAM only, which is our base case. Uh, in in blue, uh, we have 128 gigabytes of local DRAM and an extra 128 gigabytes of CXL attached memory. So um, this is simulating about a thousand clients with Persona Lab uh, benchmark. You can see that we are measuring peak performance and comparing the delta between configurations. Um, on the right hand side for the OLAP case, uh, we use T TPCH with a significantly, uh, slightly with a slightly different configuration. Um, uh, the local DRAM case is one hundred uh, is is five hundred and twelve gigabytes, uh, and in blue. Uh, we have 512 gigabytes of DRAM plus uh, 256 gigabytes of CXL attached memory using the hardware into leaving mode uh, I described earlier. And uh, here we're cutting current times by half uh, in, in some cases. Um, so CXL has a broad range of applicability uh, and you can see that with some of the applications on screen. On the far left side, uh, Rexis is an AI caching simulation popularly used for semantic search and recommendation engines. And what all these represent generally is the relative performance of a computer vision system identifying scenes with configurations I described in the previous slide using the same hardware and deleting scheme. Um, what's essentially happening uh, is a multi-dimensional model with uh, cached scenes sharing, uh, cached scenes sharing uh, membership and semantic uh, categories that could be mountains or forests or streets. So um, the caching service allowed the model to recall images more efficiently with additional memory bandwidth. Some of the other benchmarks like uh, CFD and EDA are commonly used in high performance computing and we can improve performance by up to 50%. So what does this look like um, as a server infrastructure? Uh, typical architectures used for such application like the ones you see on the left use about 48 DIMMs via two separate two socket systems to service in memory databases. And the challenge here is that you're buying or over provisioning more than what you would uh, probably need to run your in-memory database. Uh, for example, extra CPUs, extra backplane, backplanes, driver, uh, drives uh, and power supplies, et cetera versus uh, getting one dual socket CXL box with eight by 16 or a 1000 memory expansion adding cards in two DIMMs per channel configuration that allows you to provision a total of 56 DIMMs. Um, the value here is the ability to add more DIMMs without having the need for a second server. So here's a deeper, more detailed look to what um, the node architecture might look like. Uh, you can see on the bottom left, uh, the modular density optimized or MDNO architecture host processor module. Um, and what we see working with hyperscalers is this new uh, MXIO connector based on the SFF uh, TA 1037 SNIA specification um, or 1033 SNIA specification. Uh, it allows for high density nodes to have a coplanar connection with the motherboard. Uh, the value here is that the serviceability of the card and DIM no longer requires pulling the uh, full unit of the off the rack to a cart, but simply allowing the module to to be removed. Um, we see these types of solutions to be used with the by 16 Leo solution in both one and two DPC configurations to expand memory bandwidth with low latency impact. In a similar way, but um, sort of uh, for designs that require more distance between the CPU and the extension board, the MXIO cables based on the SNIA defined uh, SFFFTA 1016 spec addresses uh, the same usability case uh, with a lot more flexibility as a cabled solution. Uh, the compact nature of the cable allows for extra reach and room for removing uh, the model outside the enclosure without unplugging it with the DIM uh, when a DIM needs to be replaced, for example. And uh, there are other applications uh, to this cable solution for coplanar based and, and, and top copper mounted mounts as well as uh, tray modules like uh, the one I will show later. 
but um, other options are available for folks that don't want cabling. An edge connector, for example, like the one here, which is defined by uh, SNEA uh, F SFFTA um, 1033 um, is a great example. Um, it's an elegant solution suitable to uh, designs that have a blade architecture as it handles well uh, consistent plugging and unplugging stress for test and, ser and servicing. For the system builders, this connection offers a lot of uh, optionality in how to design pluggable coplanar modules. What's essential is that the silicon on the modules that unlock memory expansion tend to lend themselves well to all sorts of designs, regardless of the challenges. There are definitely um, multiple hardware challenges that we face when building this memory-rich compute infrastructure. For example, not all systems can accommodate double-width cards, and usually the number of uh, what we can fit uh, in, in chem slots is limited. What's interesting is that uh, we see the OCP community converging towards a standard of system architecture that directly addresses this uh, these challenges. Um, the data center module hardware, uh, modular hardware system or DCMHS, uh, such as the uh, Yosemite OCP reference platform on the uh, top right side of the slide. Um, here, the motherboard designs uh, are based on MDNO uh, partial width density optimized host platform modules to allocate more space for expansion cards, like the eight modules shown on the top right. Um, this shared infrastructure allows for uh, coexistent interchangeable processing acceleration and then based uh, memory slow expansion as well. But um, there are definitely um, challenges, uh, a number of challenges with, with such designs, some of which are signal integrity, link bifurcation and configuration, one by 16 to two by eight to four by four, et cetera link diagnostics and monitoring, performance and latency. And here at Astera Labs, uh, we provide a comprehensive uh, solution to alleviate the growing pains of deploying memory expanded architecture at scale. Um, so um, to present the full view of this comprehensive portfolio of CXL solutions, uh, first, shown on the left uh, of the slide, what is currently the most common application is the CPU direct attached CXL memory expansion case via CHEM or SFFTA uh, 1002 blade or SFFTA uh, 1033. Um, we also provide a, a solution for uh, short reach CXL attached memory, usually used with cabled solutions like uh, MXIO, SFFTA. Um, 1013, depending on uh, where the expansion module is located with respect to the motherboard and the channel loss of that connection. Um, this is essential to unlock uh, backplane and JBOM designs. And uh, earlier this year, we released our new Retimer smart cable modules uh, that unlock uh, active copper PCIe and CXL connections of up to seven meters. This has the potential to enable new architecture like shared and pooled memory for node-to-node -node, as well as uh, rack-to-rack -rack, uh, connectivity. And it would look something like this. So uh, a reasonable question to be asked here is, how is latency and performance impacted with adding retimers in the path for short and long reach? And uh, based on the testing we did internally uh, shown on the right, we see very minimal impact, uh, about less than 10% of, of the overall latency with even with two retimers in the path. Um, the configuration used on the bottom uh, describes a common configuration uh, used for our testing with uh, an Intel host with fifth generation Zion processor at DDR5 5600 speeds on these CXL attached memory cards running memory latency checker, which is a benchmark to measure uh, the latency uh, for the three configurations we described. So um, 
it really takes a whole village or ecosystem to make a CX, uh, to make CXL deployment at scale uh, a reality. Um, we have been from the very beginning and still continue to work very closely with memory vendors, CPU vendors, OS vendors, and other partners in the industry to make sure that CXL memory is discoverable, uh, manageable, and properly tuned and configured for best performance across all deployment stacks. Um, DIM interoperability, stability, and performance has always been a central focus for our approach. And uh, we have multiple bulletins and reports from our cloud scale interop with a wide range of DIMMs, uh, capacity, and speeds that we'll go over in a bit. And we will continue to work with hardware and software partners to enable more and more features. So as I mentioned, uh, our cloud scale interop is an initiative where we run our devices through a, a variety of tests, such as uh, PCIe electrical protocol uh, configuration and compliance tests, as well as uh, system and memory uh, tests and DDR traffic and stress tests and additional uh, security and, and RAS cases. We cover a wide matrix of devices from ecosystem partners and customers from hosts and, and memory and uh, we make these reports available through our customer portal. So um, the call to action here is uh, visit our website to learn more about uh, Leo, our, our CXL smart memory controller. Um, as uh, I, I mentioned in the previous uh, slide, take some time to explore our cloud scale interop lab uh, also, OCP has uh, plenty of information on the DCMHS and other reference designs we talked about today and uh, more. And uh, get in touch with me uh, directly for any more questions you may have on our CXL products. That was my presentation. Uh, thank you very much.